Welcome to our channel my dear students. Today we are going to talk about the previous year that is last 10 years CBSE board chemistry question part 17 in which we are going to discuss about the alcohols, phenols and ethers chapter. The question number one is why is the preparation of ether by acid dehydration of 2 degree alcohols? Are not suitable method so in dehydration methodology we are unable to prepare uh, 2 degree and 3 degree alcohols but it is only suitable for 1 degree alcohol that we know very well so here why it is not suitable for uh, what is that 2 degree alcohol that is um, alcohol is not possible by the way of preparing ethers so here I will be taking an example of 2 degree alcohol this is CH3 CH OH and one more thing this is a CH3 so this is a 2 degree alcohol this is my 2 degree alcohol this is going to get what is that so in presence of dehydration that is what I may use acid so by the way so here acid it has a lone pair of electron the lone pair of electron can be given to this by the way I will be getting a intermediate like this CH3 CH with O, H, one more H is attached because of donation of lone pair it attains positive charge now here CH3 is there you able to understand and this is what we got and this bond is getting break this will remove as water molecule by that way this will be removing as water molecule that is what I will be putting minus H2 the water is getting eliminated that is what I give minus sign and here this bond is getting break this will be going as positive so neutral compound water will be going in and because of that one positive charge is getting created that is CH3 CH and plus and here it is CH3 so it forms 2 degree carbocation so usually in this case so Preparation of ether by acid dehydration. If I use the acid, by the way, I dehydrated a water molecule. By the way, the 2 degree alcohols are not suitable method to prepare ether. Because here, because of the steric hindrance, these are all sterically hindered molecule. These are all sterically hindered molecule. So in which the nucleophile can not attack, cannot able to attack within this short space. That is what? Here 2 degree alcohols are not suitable method of dehydration by the way of preparing ethers. Are you able to understand student? And next question, write the mechanism of the following reaction. This question was asked in the year of 2013, 15, 16 etc. And moreover one question was asked in the year of 2010. What is that? So propanol 2. Propoxy propane they asked. Okay, that is what I given in that packet. So here, what is the mechanism? This is also acid catalyzed mechanism. Initially, the CH3, CH2, and OH is there. First molecule is going to react with the H plus. With the H plus. What happened? As usual, we know that. So it has a lone pair of electron. Because of donation of lone pair of electron, it gives the product like this. So here it gives intermediate that is CH3, CH2 and here it is O, hydrogen is attached and already hydrogen is there because of donation of electron it got positive charge. Are you able to understand? And next one is this will be eliminated as water molecule by that way I will be getting CH3, CH2 plus. This is nothing but 1 degree carbocation. This is not to be that much stable when compared to this uh, 2 degree and 3 degree that is what this will be involving in the ether formation reaction okay so and next one is second molecule will come on attack this is our second molecule you consider this is a CH3 CH2 here it is OH same way it will donate electrons by that way it attack the carbon now what happened so I will be getting a product like this that is CH3 here it is CH2, CH3 and here it is CH2 and O because of donation of electron it got positive charge and hydrogen is there here it attacks the CH2 carbon CH2 and CH3 
So if you want to neutralize this compound, the H plus will leave us own by the way I'll, I'll be getting the product like this. Are you able to understand student? This is very very important synthesis. So that is the acid dehydration synthesis of ethers. And next one is how will you synthesize the 2 methyl 2 methoxypropane by Williamson synthesis. They given a condition Williamson synthesis. So I had to follow. So first of all I had to prepare the product. What is the product? That is a 2 methyl 2 methoxypropane. So 2 methyl I will be getting CH3. One C is there. Here one C is there. And one more C is there. This is a propane. In second position I have methyl. And also second position I have methoxy. So 2 methyl 2 methoxy propane I'll get okay so as per according to Williamson synthesis what all the products I have to take what all the reactants I have to take so I have to take in the reactant as sodium alkoxide along with alkyl halide so in which uh, what type of alkyl halide I have to take so I have to take one degree alkyl halide if I suppose if I need CH3 here I have to take CH3Cl along with I have to take 3 degree alkoxide here it is CH3 here it is CH3 and here it is CH3 here it is ONA sodium alkoxide I got it so so here this sodium and Cl will lease off by the way I'll be getting a product like this are you able to understand student this is very very important synthesis suppose if suppose if you are not using so here it will be acting as a strong nucleophile this nucleophile will come and attack this carbon by the way it eliminates the Cl minus that is the mechanism behind the net so by the way I'll be getting CH3 C CH3 one more CH3 is there along with that I'll be getting O CH3 will be getting attached. By the way, I'll be getting product as NaCl. Are you able to understand? So I'll give you once again. So here it is. Uh, it will be acting as Na plus and O minus. That will be acting as the nucleophile. The nucleophile will always attack the carbon in almost organic chemistry. Nucleophile will preferentially attack the carbon. By the way, it's a better living group. The Cl minus will goes off on its own. So this uh, um, when Cl minus and Na plus will form NaCl salt. Uh, along with that, I'll be getting a product. If suppose, so you have to take the condition is you have to take alkyl halide as one degree this alkoxide as 3 degree if suppose if you are taking this alkyl halide as 3 degree with that alkoxide as 1 degree at that time you will be getting alkene as a product okay are you able to understand very very important thing you have to follow you have to satisfy this condition otherwise you will be getting a different product so because you suppose if I am taking a 1 degree alkoxide suppose CH3 ONA that time it will act as a strong base it will not be acting as a strong nucleophile it will be acting as a strong base because it's a conjugate base the conjugate base will always attack preferentially attack the hydrogen so elimination reaction will take place by the way I'll be getting alkene as a product but in this case I'll be getting this uh, 2 methyl 2 methoxypropane as a product according to Williamson synthesis by the way I have to use 1 degree alkyl halide and 3 degree sodium alkoxide and next question is very important question that is if suppose CH3C suppose I only consider CH3C uh, one more CH3 one more CH3 is there along with that OCH3 is there okay if it is react with HI what happened now so here it is a H plus and I minus is there I mean right so here this lone pair will donate now what will be getting the product so here CH3 C CH3 and CH3 here is O and one hydrogen should be attached because of the donation of electron it got positive charge O CH3 along with I minus is there okay now what happened this will be leaving off because here it forms stable 3 degree carbocation because it forms 3 degree carbocation so CH3 C CH3 and 1 CH3 and 
3 degree this is a 3 degree scarbocation s formed this is a highly stable this is a highly stable 3 degree carbocation is formed by the way this nucleophile that is i minus will come and attack i'll be getting a product like ch3 c ch3 one more ch3 is there along with i with that i'll be getting ch3 oh are able to understand because i am not getting alcohol here i'll be getting only alkyl halide this is due to steric hindrance because it's a sterically hindered group that is what it follows is an one mechanism are able to understand student the nucleophile will come and approach the positive charge that is three degree carbocation the three degree carbocation will be highly stabilized here so highly stable 3 degree carbocation is formed here that is what it can nucleophile will come and attack very easily by the way i'll be getting alcohol as a product this is only due to the steric hindrance due to the steric hindrance only here alcohol is not formed here alkyl halide 3 degree alkyl halide is formed this is 3 degree and this is 1 degree alcohols formed are you able to understand student thank you so much for watching Please go forward to others to get benefit. Thank you so much. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you once again.